Within a bill of materials, we always want to see the quantities of the items that we have used. The quantity is usually worked based on how many times you have used that component in your assembly. However, there are some occasions where that is not the value we are after. In the case of the worktop and plinth within our kitchen assembly, for example. Rather than seeing the quantity of how many times we have used that item, we would prefer to see the total length required. If I show you my bill of materials, you can see I have achieved this. I need a total length of 3,900 millimeters for both the worktop and the plinth, which is reflected in my quantity column. So before we have a look at how this is achieved, let's look at the structure of the assembly. We have five instances of the plinth component. Each cabinet is referenced in a different length configuration. Let's open up the plinth component. In the configuration manager, we can see all the different configurations of the component. If we look at the configuration specific properties, each configuration has a length property associated to it. We want to use that length property as the quantity in the bill of materials. In order to do that, we must set the drop down menu for bomb quantity as length. Normally, this is set to none. This needs to be done for every configuration. We also need the bomb to group all configurations of the plinth that we use in our assembly together as a single item, rather than having each configuration used shown as a separate item. To do this, we must switch to our configuration manager and edit the configuration properties. For every configuration, we set part number to be used in the bill of materials as the same user specified value of plinth. We'll now switch back to our main assembly. The chances are when you first bring in your bill of materials, each configuration of the plinth will still be shown as separate items. To group them together as a single item, we need to set the part configuration grouping options as display configurations of the same name as one item. This collates all plinths to a single entry in our bomb because we set the part number for all configurations as plinth. So our bill of materials is now looking exactly as we would like it to. We hope you found that useful. We'd like to take a few moments to tell you about our company. Innova Systems are a UK-based authorised reseller for SolidWorks 3D CAD software. We provide the highest quality technical support and training courses to over a thousand of our customers. Buying from us doesn't just mean a box of software, you also get the backup of our multi-award winning technical support team. Innova have been voted number one for customer satisfaction for the last four years running. We are a company driven by the continued success of our customers. If you're interested in knowing more about SolidWorks or the services we provide, please get in contact with us.